Welcome back to the channel. We are doing Euro Truck Simulator 2. We've got a delivery. It's a little on the high side, but don't be deceived. 300 kilometers of that is, I think, a ferry ride. So it's 875 total. I think 300 and something kilometers is... So it's like 500 something, I think. I'm hoping that's correct. We got a load of vinegar going from where we're at now, which is... All right, it's hard to see. Uh, Lublin, and we're going to right. Vexo or something. I can't pronounce it. I'm sorry, but I just don't do the uh, the foreign cities very well. I know it's pretty bad when we correct uh, people from other countries and the states, but you know that's where the European folks come in and correct me on how to pronounce it. But anyway, let's get going. I was hoping this would be a, a, a small run, but the options for small runs were like way too small. I'm talking, you know, 15 minutes and we're all done. You know, I don't mind a, a run like that every now and again, but I wanted something at least a half an hour, and this I think it'll, it'll deliver us that much. But uh, anyhow, I hope your day is going well. Your night, morning, whenever it is that you're watching this um, if you're liking the uh, this episode a thumbs up a like all of those things would be appreciated anyhow we're uh, headed over there hopefully we can keep ourselves from getting too many uh, tickets I got a red light violation because I couldn't stop in time prior to uh, this recording because it was raining like a banshee, I had to uh, fast forward time twice to get it to where it wasn't going to rain anymore. It was just ridiculous. I was like, I'm not going to put myself through that. Nor am I going to put my viewers through that. We want a nice sunshiny day. I don't mind a little bit of rain coming through. But what they had there was just a bit too much. So that being said, uh, we're booking it. Hopefully we can shave these kilometers off. So I think uh, straight on. I think this is going to be good. I hope. The last one ran, I think, a little bit long. I think we were on the long side on that episode, if I remember right. But this is episode 41. We're hauling vinegar. So this is a very important delivery. We must get there quickly, so people can cook and clean with this stuff. Yeah, we're starting to uh, get up there in money, which is nice. I think we're going to have to set our uh, our cruise because I think I'm going to be speeding like a dumb shit. I'm just coasting right now. We're coasting at 72 kilometers. Get it down to about 68 or 69, and then we'll lock it in. Lock it in. Yeah, we locked it in. So when I locked it in. Now uh, we'll see. Yeah, the computer's actually working pretty decent today, knock on wood, let's not jinx it, but was able to jump right in here and get going without having to do too much. That's always slowing me down. I think it's about time we upgrade, but no money for that. Not for a while, we're just going to grin and bear it. probably be some night driving in this episode but night driving I can handle on a short term but as long as it's not going to be all all the time I think we'll be fine because it's a long haul this is 800 and something kilometers I don't recall the payday for this but hopefully it's worth it I keep hitting the rumble strip we don't have any uh, shoulder on any of these roads in Euro, so 
case you didn't know, you're finding out by hearing that rumble strip every second. But at least the weather in the game is now settled. It's raining like you wouldn't believe. I mean, I went from where we just had the delivery uh, drop-off point to a rest area and I could barely see in front of me. It was so hard, that rain coming down in the game. But I was like, well, we can't. We can't have that. So I rested and it, I forgot how many hours it forwarded it. But anyway, it forwarded the time. We wake up and it's still raining. I'm like, no. And it was dark too, so forwarded it again. And it's like 8 o'clock in the morning, sunny out. I was like, all right, here we go. Because I wanted to make sure everything was set before we started. Full fuel, truck is all repaired, all of those things, so we don't need to keep stopping. We can just hop right in here and go. That's the whole idea. Yeah, it's been a whole week since I hopped in this in the cab of this uh, bad boy, so it's been overdue. I'm trying to do two Euro, two American truck. It's just how I like to do things. And then in the other times, it's going to be uh, some GTA Online, some Gran Turismo streams. Get ready to turn left. And then, uh, of course, some Red Dead Redemption 2 episodes so you're gonna see everything in twos so you'll see two of whatever two of another two of another and that's how we're gonna do it I think it works better that way no he's turning son of a gun we're just we have no choice we committed now I don't know how the heck they see that little directional light on those cars but Anyhow, uh, yeah, I think that's the format going forward. If I, you know, subject to change, obviously, and I am going to post it on YouTube, the schedule I want to do. And I'm going to leave evenings free for streaming. So if I post a video, it's going to be no more videos posted like I did months ago. Months ago, I would promote, uh, not promote. Well, I always promote videos too, but I would post a video like 3, 4, or 5 p.m. And uh, I'm like, no, we're not doing that no more. So if we post a video, I was trying to slow down, you son of a gun. God, you son of a bitches. You keep getting me anywhere I turn around. Anyway, so I'm going to post a video. It's going to be midnight, right. the day of and that video. Right. Scheduled or whatever. I'll schedule it the day, midnight, the day that I want it to be uh, aired. Turn right or be viewing a uh, possible view to whatever. God, I can't even find the right wording. And that way, if I want to stream GTA Online, uh, Gran Turismo, I can do because those times are going to be... Gran Turismo is probably going to be more, more likely going to be weekends in the morning. Probably uh, between 9 and uh, 12, somewhere around there. Oh, let's go before the freaking thing changes. And then uh, on the back burner is kind of Forza, all these other games that I started. They really didn't do much viewing wise. And some of these aren't doing well viewing wise, but we're just going to keep plugging away at it. Just that's because the stubborn person in me that wants to just keep going. So that's kind of where we're at now. But we're going to do uh, GTA Online quite frequently, a couple, three uh, streams a week. Uh, it might not be uh, anything scheduled, because I really can't commit to anything. It's hard to commit to stuff. I don't stay up late. That's the thing. A lot of these streamers, especially, uh, I, I work, 
and I'm up at 5.30 every morning, even on the weekends, so it's hard for me to commit to a stream at 8 or 9 p.m. when I gotta get up early the next day. Even on the weekends I'm up early, so a lot of times it's hard for me even to commit to do a stream with somebody at that late hour. I can't do it. I can do it occasionally, but I'll tell you, I don't... I'm not right the next day. Get ready to turn that. So I gotta find people that are willing to commit to streaming with me you know, at the times that I'm able to. Turn left. Because I'd be more than willing to jump in there and get in there and do some GTA Online contact uh, content with folks. Because I'd like to add more GTA Online content in there. But Keep I'm right. rarely right. ever streaming when I have anybody viewing. And that's just because I'm still new to the new channel, and I understand that. I'm not crying or bitching or whatever, I'm just, it's the reality of it. But I am making progress on the PS4 character. We're getting a little further along. The PS5 character, which I decided to create new, because there are more people on the PS4 than PS5, so there's no point in me porting my character over there, even though he's not that high of a level anyhow but you gotta understand I've only gotten to multiplayer part of that GTA over the last year or so I just was dabbled in it here and there but I never was serious about it up until recently so when you get a 78 that's pretty decent consider left, then turn left turn left Dang. That turn, that turn was a bit deceiving. But we made it happen. That's 50 kilometers, and here we are. Speed Demon it again, and we'll bitchy be bitching about it. We get another ticket. I know the, girl, the guy playing the game, so he'll bitch about it if he gets another ticket. So Let's slow that crap down. I will say that the European signs are definitely different. Now we're up to 70, okay. I don't even recall how much this, this one's cost, not costing us, how much it's going to put in our bank. I think it's like 10 grand or something like that. 10 grand euro money. Whatever denomination that is. I think it's pounds, but it could be uh, um, euros. I think it's British pounds, but I don't know. Now it's 80 kilometers, and we're still, we're still speeding. Okay, we'll lock in the cruise. Hopefully it locked in. Looks like it. Nice little river. We got our money coming in from our drivers. No, I thought we only had right. and then two drivers. Right. I'll have to check that after the, after we're done this recording, anyhow. Exit right. Yeah, we're trying to make it slow it down because I know turns here. At least it's not raining. Turn left. I know traffic is pretty rare to be on that corner, but if you can, it's better to stop and make sure there isn't anybody coming through. Yeah, you gotta love it when some stupid fool does this. They know that we were just starting up. 
and we're just getting through the gears and they decide well they're still getting uh, they're still getting up to speed so let's pull out in front of them We've been hitting that rumble strip the whole time. It's like I can't wait to jump back in and do some uh, American, where at least we have a shoulder for a row on our, most of our rows. Not all of them, obviously. So the good thing is, is some of the money that the other drivers are pulling in covers our loan that we have and each run that we do each day almost every day sometimes I gotta forward the time obviously but go straight on. it will cover it will cover the um, that expense and, and still have profit left over not much I'll, I'll say but I just gotta do one of these uh, longer runs and make more money but we got to put we got to grind got to grind just like uh, GTA online you got to grind and that's what we're doing we're putting the miles on the truck we're putting the deliveries in getting our uh, our XP points up so our level gets up or once our level gets up then we get better loads you you'll be able to do hazard loads you'll be able to do um, heavy haul all of that and then that stuff is more money then you start making the serious coin when you're pulling in 50 60 70 thousand for one run and the note gets paid off so yeah I know it's a vicious cycle but it is what it is if you were to get into trucking in real life that's exactly what you'd be dealing with whether it's euro or American or whatever and then you got the uh, uh, the ridiculous uh, crap that you got to deal with with every in, in euro it's probably each each country in uh, the US it's each state it's got some sort of a goofy uh, BS that you got to deal with you know okay I'll give you an example some places got tolls up the yin-yang from what I understand New York New Jersey that's all there is is tolls so you might have a delivery of something that goes from one place to another but if you hit certain towns certain cities you got to deal with all the tolls so you're probably out of pocket about a hundred bucks by the time you get out of that city and what has that city done for you well probably tore up three tires killed your suspension just another day Yeah, I, I think trucking is it's a kind of a it takes a certain breed to quote a uh, country song that I know to be a truck driving person be political I guess politically correct and I hate being politically correct but it's the reality of the world Anyhow, we're traveling through the countryside. So you get to leave, leave your house without having to leave your house. And you get to listen to this dumb shit behind the wheel of this truck. From what I understand, for when I pick this delivery, I'm hoping this is the same one I picked is a certain number of kilometers are driving and then there's a big chunk of it is the uh, 
ferry that we take. And that's why this one's going to seem really long. It kind of is long. Because we still got 500 and something kilometers to go. Almost 600 kilometers. And we've already been at this 20 minutes. So I'm hoping that I was right by picking this one. But if it's another long one, we can we can kind of absorb it. But it's, it is what it is. Got the horses on the right. Nice little farm. Looks like we're going to be hitting the interstate. This is all roads that we have not been on, by the way. Get ready to turn right. And you can tell because all the roads are gray. Just like my hair. I think we're going to be away from that right. fool. I'm not a big fan of these really tight, tight corners. Not corners, but ramps to get on the their interstates. It's just so tight. You would not be able to take an American truck and drive it over here. Tell you that for free. Surprised that bus let us go. I think he was gonna. Looks like it's a toll coming up. Yeah, it's a toll. Gotta be at least one of those. You don't need to stop you just need to slow down. Do any of these freaking fools know how to drive? God damn. I think we're supposed to go to more to the right where the trucks are, but I don't care. Oh my gosh. You should really ballpark that. I hate that. Come on, wake up. It don't look like anybody's on our right. Nobody to the left. I guess we're okay. Until somebody decides to run into us, which is par for the course. Yeah, we have an opportunity once again to deliver one of those uh, Volvo type things. I don't remember exactly which one it was, but I was like, no, we've done enough of those. Do something different. Just a regular trailer with something in it is fine with me. Those articulated trailers, they're okay, but sometimes they're just not worth the headache. Straight on. Straight on. God dang, we're we're up to eighty kilometers plus now again. fuel station up here there's also a rest area which I don't think we're gonna need not yet the reason why I say that is because you know if it gets really dark and hard to see and we'll we'll pull into one of those places and forward the time but I don't foresee that happening I think we'll be fine at least for now Yeah, we're 
constantly speeding. Seems like it anyway. Looks like another toll coming up. Yep. Watch these people get right up there and just stop all of a sudden, even before you get to the toll. Pretty much notorious for that stupid stuff. It's like you gotta coast down. You don't need to slam on the brakes and make a fool out of everybody. This is what I'm talking about. Stupid stuff like that. It's come to a complete stop for what? Yeah, see last time they didn't even tell me how much we paid. Yeah, I wrecked my truck because you didn't move your freaking thing. I don't see it when I'm up close to it because that's the way you guys have it all set up. What the heck? You have to pull up so close you don't even see if the dang thing's up or not. It's like, oh well. More damage to the truck. I think I should charge them for not moving their gate up quicker. Shouldn't be any gate there anyway. Should just pull up. It should just read a tag on your car, or in this case, truck, and you should be able to just drive through it, like a lot of other places have. Just saying, in this day and age, you know, technology is there. You just gotta learn to use it. God dang, we are speeding again. Hope the policia is not around. They'll get us for sure. They already got us twice now. Once for speed, and before that it was a red light violation. I think they got a bolo out for me, because it seems like every time I'm driving, they're on the constant lookout to see what I'm going to screw up next, so they can tag me for it. set because I'm tired of speeding or tired of getting caught for speeding We set the uh, cruise control and the, they dropped the uh, speed limit on us shortly after that. Gotta love it. Oh, this is a roundabout? The roundabout. Yeah. Take the first exit. That's why everybody's stuck in a roundabout. Nobody knows how to drive it. So instead of a... Instead of people stuck on a light or whatever waiting for it to change, you've got everybody on all four sides. In some cases, six sides all stuck because they don't know where to go. Exit. Try our best to keep in the right, correct lane. Looks like another roundabout coming up. Hopefully, I'll screw that up. These roundabouts are a pain because it's hard to maintain your lane in them. I mean, intersections have their issues with maintaining where you want to be, but uh, a double lane Take the third exit. intersections are, well, I think, worse.
exit now. I mean, you look, I mean, I'm barely, I'm probably half of that, there's a good part of that trailer that's in their lane. Now we're curbing it now. I think this is our ferry crossing. I don't know Keep why that. Right. And then turn right. Yeah, this is kind of looks like it's has us going elsewhere. It's like very turn confusing. Right. Okay, so here's our ferry. I think, yep, yeah, right here. Recomputing. Yeah, compute all you want. Enter. Uh, we only have one option, so 790, whatever it is. Never mind. I'll find a new route. Vaxol is where we're going. Only 12k we're getting for that. All right, so we're there. Uh, not sure where we're supposed to go to get out of here, but we'll figure it out. Okay, yeah, it's telling us. 87 kilometers. Right. Nice. Nice. That's more like it. Only 87 kilometers. We should be fine for the most part. As long as it doesn't rain. And we'll get our delivery uh, done on a reasonable time. Yeah, I like the ferry runs. They they are very deceiving because when you first jump in the truck and you can't if you don't remember what I remember there was a significant chunk of that was the ferry and it was like 300 and something kilometers. So I kept thinking to myself, well, this is not going to be a long run. It's going to look like a long run, but it's it's definitely going to trend within that 40 minute range that we usually do. We try to to do most of the Sometimes we try to get some of them under that, but I'm assuming we've got our lights on. Looks like it, I guess. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we've not been here before. We've been on some ferries before. Seems like when I put in the, in the uh, title that it's another ferry run, they get more uh, views on it. Right. So we'll keep that in mind when we put the video out there. Because people love the ferries, even though there's just really nothing. It'd be one thing if turn they right. actually sat in the ferry and they showed you. God dang it, we almost missed that turn. But they really don't show you anything. Most of the time. I mean, sometimes you drive up on the ferry, but most of the time that's about all you get. As you drive Turn up to left, the ferry... And then continue straight on. Go straight on. Yeah, there's some stupid turns I've been taking. I've been really... At the roundabout, take the first exit. Exit now. But that happens. When there's not much traffic, you just you whip it in there and just be done with it. the lights on but I wasn't sure go straight on because it did seem kind of dull to me
Yeah, I just can't help myself. It just seems like I'm speeding like a demon all the time. Now, if I had a Dodge Demon, yeah, I probably would be speeding. But this truck, you think hauling the stuff we're hauling, we kind of be on the down low here because. I'm sure that it's not real, real heavy load, but not light either. We're just about to the end of this one, which is nice. Episode uh, 42, which will be not too far after this one, probably day after this one, more than likely, uh, we'll have a trip from that town that we're delivering this to. Nexol or whatever the heck it's called. I hate to butcher the town name, but uh, like I said, I'll say it again. I just I know the popular ones. I'll say that. Nexol, Lexol. That's where we're headed. I see the name up there. Nexol. It's probably some silent things in there that I'm not supposed to pronounce, but. It is what Go it is. Straight on. So we'll discover another couple of towns. I think it'll be Turn a long left. time before we approach what we have as far as uh, map level. Because I'm over 50% in ATS. Here, I'm, I don't even, can't even think about it. 11, 12% maybe? Yeah. There we did. We, is, right. we discovered it. I want my honorary park bench because I Get discovered this place. Next. I know it's a corny joke, but hey. Turn left. Take what you can get, I guess. You run with it. Bad joke or not. At the roundabout. Oh the yeah. I was exit. wondering what this was all about. <laughs> Really tell you a roundabout until you're almost on top of it. Another one. At the roundabout, take the first exit. They really like these dang things, don't they? Exit now. We have them here in the States, and it's ridiculous. Nobody knows how to drive them. Turn left. Finding new route. Did I miss my turn again? Get ready to turn left. Oh turn man. Left. It's happening too often here. If I can't access it, I'll just turn around somehow. But it looks like We were supposed to make that left right there where we were. Get ready to turn left. Because it's saying right here, take the left here. Turn left. It's all over now. So what? That doesn't make any sense. I think we're going to do the. Uh, and we'll try to play it safe, but no, we're not going to do that one. That one's a wanky. Uh, wanky. I guess we, if we were okay, if we were to do the let's play it safe, we'd have to scoot the trailer in and do a, a UE over there where all the parked cars would be. I guess we'll try it. If we can't do it, we'll. Uh, yeah, we damaged the trailer a little bit, which I knew was going to happen. 
But where they had us going it was just the wrong place. Hopefully you don't jackknife the trailer too much. As I was saying, come on. See, it's almost impossible. I didn't say it was impossible, but pretty dang close. All right, here we go. There we go. We made it happen. We made it work. It wasn't the easiest. Not bad, not bad. Alrighty, we, uh, we're getting there. Almost 17 uh, for level. But anyway, I hope you uh, enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, share the content if you will. And uh, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one.